Hey guys, this is Jason with Ray of Light Tarot. I'm going to do the Sagittarius Soulmate reading for February 16th through 28th, 2019. I just want to say, tell me congratulations. I became an uncle again today. My, I've been at the hospital this afternoon. I just got home a little while ago. And um, my brother and sister-in-law welcomed the, their daughter, Elliot Abigail into the world today. She's eight pounds, 10 ounces, and I think 21 inches long, and she's beautiful, and I'm really excited. So, uh, okay, so guys, um, for personal readings and to contact me, you go to the website, the link's gonna be in the description, rayoflighttarot.com, and you click the Contact Me tab to schedule your readings. If you want to purchase the multi-reading package, the basically it's like half price, you get four hours of intuitive readings for $333.33. It's a $600 value, so it's basically half price for four hours. Split up however you decide you want to do it. Eight half-hour sessions, four-hour sessions, or anything in between, a combination of both. But for that, you just click the PayPal link and pay the $333.33 and include your contact information uh, for that deal. Um, because it's not available through the website, I will contact you to schedule you. Um, that's it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love, support for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. I appreciate all of you so much. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius and their soulmate. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels and archangels. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. Thank you, spirit guides and ancestors. Thank you for allowing me to connect to the energy of Sagittarius and their soulmate. For the people who are most in need of this healing guidance, let it resonate and connect. And it shall. Thank you for the clear and direct messages. I'm going to pull from the Gilded Tarot. Gilded. G-I-L-D-E-D, -E Gilded Tarot. Show me the energy for the soulmate of Sagittarius for February 16th through 28th, 2019. What's the energy? really good stuff so guys you've got um, there could be a third party situation we got a couple threes here and we'll clarify that in a sec um, your soulmates energy is the nine of Pentacles and the ace of cups that's the overall energy so someone's doing a lot of focus on themselves and their maybe their career um, the soulmate is focusing on the things that bring them uh, happiness, the things that bring them abundance, and the things in their life that really help them to not focus so much on you. This is good. I like this. Yeah, this card can, as an overall energy, can be about someone being selfish. Um, but with the Ace of Cups here, it tells me, no, it's not about them being selfish. This is about them doing the spiritual work that's allowing a new beginning in love, right? Because the Ace of Cups is a divinely guided and offered new beginning in love. So for this overall energy to be next to the Nine of Pentacles, that means what they're doing, this solitary work they're doing, is not self-centered at all. It's selfless because they're doing it for both of you um it may not have felt like it up until now but there's a lot going on right now and they are putting in some work here they're going from a place of being defensive to a place of being open so that's good that feels good um emperor nine of swords three of cups three of pentacles knight of cups and six of wands so I like that Knight of Cups and that Six of Wands, that sort of that feeling of victory uh, in, in this connection, making some an offer. Um, and I love this energy, the Emperor coming out. They could be Aries or, or have strong Aries in their chart. Sagittarius, if your partner is an Aries, this definitely could be a reading that's intended for you specifically. So watch out. Um, you know, air, water, earth, those are all here as well. And fire. Everything's here, but the only card that is actually a card of a specific uh, sign is the card of Aries, okay? So just be aware of that. And then um, I love, like I said, Nine of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Someone's really putting in the spiritual work, the, the work into themselves. And, and I feel like they're really using the law of attraction to their advantage. And um, this is great. The, the energy is there for a reconciliation with that Ace of Cups. But uh, so someone is really, with the Emperor card too, the soulmate is really... Um, business-minded they're someone who goes after what they want and knows how to get it 
They're also someone who um, may have been in a third party situation recently, but that I think is coming to an end. We're going to pull clarifiers on these threes and make sure that they are about what I think and find out more. Uh, they're also going through some major transformation here. This is the Nine of Swords, and yes, it's about someone being up at night worrying and anxious, but it's more than that in this in this deck. You can see like just a lot of symbols here. Um, they're getting in touch with their spirit guides, their angels. That's what those candles represent to me. The moon represents a lot of feelings they're coming into acquaintance with. And the owl, the divine feminine here. So there's a lot of, of transformation and changes coming through. That's what all these swords are. That's the truth that's coming through to them is they're recognizing maybe they weren't in touch with how they felt before about you completely. Um, but they are, and that's what's welcoming in this Ace of Cups. But they got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Two nines. You know that's coming to the end of a cycle. I'm going to read a little bit here about the frequency of the number nine for you guys. Because anytime we see a number repeating itself, I think it's worth checking on that number and seeing what the underlying message may be. So for the number nine, the frequency of the nine is a highly spiritual energy indicating blessings, compassion, and the ending of a cycle. It comes when resolution of unfinished business is taking place. So a new cycle can begin in due course. It also indicates Christ consciousness, Christ consciousness and can be a message from any master that resonates with that energy, reminding you to trust your heart and ask for love to bless and assist you. Okay, so take that, how it resonates for you. But let's see about this. Um, okay, we'll use the, we're going to use the rider deck to clarify the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, okay? They're both, in this case, about the same thing, clearly. And so let's find out what the story is here. Because you need to know before they make this love offer and, and declare victory in this connection, you need to know what's going on in this potential third-party situation. And third-party situations don't always indicate another person. Sometimes a third party is alcoholism or drug addiction. A third party can, it's another energy that's strong enough that it's stepping into your connection and interfering, okay? So keep that in mind. What's the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, a lot of cups here. Emperor. So we're getting these cards that are repeating. Knight of Cups has come out twice. Emperor's come out twice. So someone was really not wanting to change. That's for sure. Being very stubborn. Healing. Four of Swords. Okay. So this is like I, this is what I was uh, uh, thinking. This person, this isn't about a third party person. This is about their own energy. Um, Emperor twice, strong Aries energy here, guys, and strong water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with these cards. Okay, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, and Six of Cups. <clears throat> so this connection could be past life. It definitely represents nostalgia for them. Um, there may, this, this the thing of, of this third party, it's something that they've had to heal or recover from. So it could be alcoholism or addiction. Um, you know, there are many types of addictions, guys, but somebody had a, an issue of some kind with some sort of overindulgence and some sort of um, thing coming between you two uh, that they weren't ready to deal with for a really long time, but they've been putting in the work and recovering. And that's allowing them to get their strength back. They've grown from the Page of Cups into the Knight of Cups. And as they come into this Knight of Cups energy, they're going to be making an offer to you <clears throat> and asking for you to come back. Um, but right now they are, you know, doing a lot of healing and they're having a lot of success in other areas of their life. That's what I see as the Empress. But on the one hand, it represents to me someone who was being stubborn in changing. They didn't want to embrace the changes that were coming into them. Um, but as he has, or she, uh, he's really, they're getting very strong. And there, there's gonna be some victory in this connection here very soon. Uh, very soon, guys, this feels really good. Yeah, it's a solid foundation for you guys to build on. The great thing about your connection, obviously, uh, Sagittarius, this connection has a solid foundation for this Ace of Cups to come in um, and for the Three of Pentacles, for you guys to build on it and sort of, you know, celebrate together. So it does have, these cards do, these threes actually have the traditional meanings as well. Let's read about the frequency of the number three real quickly as well. We read about the nine. Let's read about the three because you've got a couple threes here. So it's very important. Okay, so here's a three. Frequency of the number three indicates a time to learn, write, 
teach or develop new ideas, collaborate with others, and create win-win situations. It's also the number of stamp, the number stamp of the Ascended Masters, particularly multiple threes, affirming their connection with you. Yeah, that's why I'm doing my big deal, uh, multi-reading deal for four intuitive hours of, of reading uh, for $333.33. Same thing I did my Twin Flame Journey uh, program because I love that Ascended Master number and I feel like that's so important to have that, the numbers have certain meanings and so 33333, that's what it is. But you heard the message, so here's, that's, that's what this time is about for you guys. And they are healing a lot. <clears throat> They're healing a lot. They're recovering. I think recovering is the word that keeps coming to mind and through to my intuition right now for this specific connection. So yeah, good energy for them. They're definitely ready to... They're not ready to make the offer yet, but they're on their way toward that and they're ready to heal. And so they're in a, in a good place or finding their way through this um, process. So really, let them know how proud you are of them, okay? Sometimes people... Um, I'm a person, I don't need people to tell me how proud they are of me, but I th sometimes I have certain people in my life, one or two people that I just really need, want to tell me how proud they are of me. I don't know, you know, you have people that are special to you that motivate you, and uh, those are the ones you want to tell you, oh, I'm proud of you. So they probably want you to tell them how proud you are if you're seeing some major changes in them or when you see the changes if you haven't seen them yet, okay? <clears throat> Show me the energy of Sagittarius in this connection and what they've got going on on their side of the fence. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's their energy in this connection? Uh, you've got the Four of Pentacles, Sagittarius, so um, you may be mirroring them in, in as much as they needed to recover from something, you may need to release some things, okay? Do some releasing and clearing. Releasing and clearing. What's the energy for Sag? And what's the overall energy for them? Three of Swords tried to come out. A lot of threes for you guys. I see that. Overall energy for Sagittarius for this time period. Whoop. Okay, there it is, Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, Sag. You and Libra showing up here. Wow, a lot of majors coming out, guys. Really, really a lot of majors. Um, all right. Hierophant. Temperance, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Strength, Six of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. So again, justice is the overall energy. So think, so fairness, a righting of wrongs, you know, things being balanced, uh, the scales being balanced, the scales of justice being balanced. There's a lot of balance here with Temperance as well. You, that's your card, Sag, and you love this card because it's showing all your passion in this one. Right, see all the passion here, but it's also things are being balanced out for you guys. Um, the Hierophant represents Taurus, so you've got Taurus Earth energy here, and that's what's going on right here. There's Earth energy in this Four of Pentacles. Um, you've got to let go of the things you're holding on to. Yes, you have a lot of abundance in your life, right? And you you're trying to hold on to it, and maybe because they're somebody who had to get into recovery, you're afraid of letting them, you know letting them in or letting them do, you're afraid they might do damage to what you've worked hard for, but you've actually got a lot more abundance coming in your future, but you've got to let go of some of this control. Um, your need for control could stop this up. And I know you have a lot of feelings you're keeping close to the vest right now because you're not sure if you can trust this person, but they're going to prove themselves to you. So you've got this deep spiritual connection between you two, um, whether they're Libra, Taurus, you saw the other energies on their side that were represented, Aries. Um, and Leo is here also, okay? Um, you're still coming through as the Knight of Wands, which isn't, you know, the most immature of energies, but it's also not the most mature. You need to get into that King or Queen of Wands energy and you will feel a lot better. But um, this energy is going back to the fall when uh, either in October or November, September, October, November, even December maybe for some of you in different areas, um, you were feeling like you had to get back into just kind of not taking things too seriously because of their behavior. But they've, since the fall till now, maybe you haven't been in communication, but they've been making big changes. They may, may even have gone to rehab or something. They've let go of some really toxic cycles and ended some, some dark, a period of darkness in their life, and they're coming into some real light. They've tamed the beast with the strength card here. They're really, really doing a lot of work, and um, you're doing it too. You're mirroring each other, guys. Um, you're finding financial balance right now, um, and you're really you're feeling generous toward them. You're wanting to be generous, um, but you've got other people in your life that you've got to focus that generosity on as well. 
but Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment is here. Um, there, I feel strongly that someone was overindulging maybe in alcohol or another substance, okay? That's coming through pretty clearly. Not you, but them maybe. And you may have also as a result of all of the pressure, but one of, the, one of you, and I think it was them, had a real problem that had to be addressed and is in recovery now. So this looks really hopeful and really, really good. Um, and remember, if you're doubting it, justice is here. That's, that's the universe uh, in charge. Justice is here, okay? And it's on your side. So just be patient. Uh, it looks like some major, you've been patient because some major good changes are happening. And um, yeah, this looks really good. I want to go into detail. I, I was thinking of doing those Vimeo con extended readings. I want to do an extended on this. Um, I haven't started doing the Vimeos, but I might go ahead and do that soon. Or hopefully if you're somebody this resonates for, we'll get a personal and find out more because this looks like a really good situation that has a lot of potential. It's just been a tough road for you guys. So I'm excited for you, Sag, and your soulmate. Um, looks really, really good. So good luck on that. Let me pull some Romance Angel advice cards for you guys and wrap it up. The Romance Angel advice for Sagittarius. That card wanted to be turned over. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. <clears throat> Right. Trust. So soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I'm telling you, they need this as well. Soulmate, if you're watching this, cross-watching, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Hopefully you've got a sponsor helping you. But um, separation, it, it, you know, not on the horizon. It's right now you're separated from your partner, but very soon they're going to come back. You just have to set your intention clearly. Just like you're focusing your energy for your recovery, set your intention clearly. And Sagittarius, you too. Very soon. This is the universe saying we can clearly decide what you want and it'll come to you. We can give you what you want. You just have to set your intention very clearly. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support and love. Namaste. Have a lovely week.